Hello everyone, my name is Otavio Santana. I'm glad to be here. And today let's talk about optimizing our API with Optional. I had this idea mainly because last week I read the Elbem Belmiro article about Optional and this whole hard article is to answer the question, should I care about optimization with optional? Should I care about the performance with optional? And he replies with, okay, you should care more about the premature optimization than the optional itself. Besides, it has a time overhead of memory and a CPU. The discussion happened basically because when you decide to use optional, uh, you will check the code. When you check the code, you are able to see that optional is a wrapper to a, a reference. Okay, as you can see here, basically I have the optional class where I have my wrapper and based on that wrapper, I able to do some operation. Remember, there is no silver bullet and yes, optional help us in several circumstances however it's a wrapper therefore it will consume a little bit of memory and cpu but it's worth when you think about design and code api i'm gonna show in an instant okay let's go a little bit more in the code first let me create an unclass so let me think uh, a person class this person will have a name and also uh, let me find what else name and maybe I don't know the city sorry I'm lack of imagination today let's put the getters here Let's put the constructors. So I'll have a constructor with both parameters. And right now I will create a person repository or something like that. So person, uh, let's use service, service. Okay. So the idea here is to return a person. So find from find by name imagine right now this information comes from the database okay so i have my app here my person service the service i will create this and then i will return my find by name person so elber elber so let me check here. So I need to return something, right? So if uh, as a good recommendation, value the, the input. So object required now no name. If not, name is required. If you are not familiar with this API, it since Java 7 and you can check the code. So basically, if the value is new, it will throw an exception, new pointer exception. Uh, and then if ever equals name, it will return new person Elber. I guess he's from Porto Alegre. Yes, he's a Brazilian. Otherwise, I will return no. Okay, uh, that's my service. And basically, I need to. Okay, let's create a test here instead of. Let's create a test. Imagine right now that I have two situations. I should uh, return. Elber and then oops should return not 
Elber. Let's create a test. Personal service, service. Let's do the setup. Okay, it's supposed to be injection, but I want to uh, put more complexity in my code right now. So imagine that I have some injection here. So basically I will set service. In this situation here, I will find my name. This one will be Elber. Elder, Elber, uh, who knows? No, no, I guess it's Elber. Okay. Another one, I will return Elder. Okay. To both situations, I need to check if the value is new. Is new. Imagine right now that what I want is the the name. So in both situation, okay, I need to check. Hey Elber, are you not new? If yes, if you're not new, please give your name. And your name, oops, no, should be equals to Elber. And I need to do a similar thing here. So if I don't find you, I do need, I need, I need to do something else. I need to, for example, hit it. If it's a code from uh, from database, I need, for example, to uh, load from REST API. So imagine my service belongs to a database source, and if information not there, I need to find the information for another 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 source. Let's run the code. It's running, it's running, let's see. Okay, it's both are okay, right? But uh, basically I need to do the validation and if I forget to, to check if the information is new or not, I might return a new point reception. For example, if I do something like this, It will return to me a classic new point reception. Oops, or oh, not. Okay. Elber. Elber. Now, okay, that's me, my, my my code is my test not good enough, so it should be not new. And then let's do the validation. Let's execute right now. Okay. This one here is because it's because I'm missing around the name. But let's see for right now. Okay. Now it returns the new port exception because I need to remember to make sure the value is new or not new. The advice to, go, to do a good uh, API using Java is to explore more the optional. What does that mean? Every time that a value might be new, you have the option to use optional instead. For example, here I have my person, my person service, that it's my return or not. So 
I am able to use the optional to make it better to everybody. So I can do come here and remember that optional is a reference. Therefore, you need to make sure that by default it will return something from that. Okay. Right now I have my optional value. Okay. Let's fix this code here. Find my name. And then let's return to, yes, I could rename, but I forget. Right now, the error will return an optional. Ignore, just give it to me. So right now it should be not new. And what I want, okay, if information is not there, I want to map this to, to return the name. And based on that, I have the option to, okay, if my name is not there, I want to return something else. Not no person, for example. In this case, I will put a name and, oops. This happened here, so, Oops. What did I do? So I have my optional of person, then I map the name, and then if information not there, I return any default value. This case here, this time with elder, just ignore, just give it to me. My information are there. So what else can I do? I can, for example, uh, if present, oh, no, no, if present, but OS throw, I able to return an exception from it, or, or else get. I can, for example, return this information from another source. For example, manage right now, I have the service and also I have the uh, the cache or the REST application, something like that. So I can return person elder Sao Paulo. So right now, I have this option here. So I have a person. So let's check the name. Get the name and here you go. Let's run. Oops. Why do we here? So let's ignore you. And then execute again. And as you can see, when the value might return or might not return, I can use the optional. And because of that, I first, I make sure that a person will validate before use, okay? And I give the person several option, options to handle if the information is there or if the information is not there. For example, uh, I have the first the elder here, the same elder. If the information there, I can, if present, I able to consume. So for example, I can do something here. Only if the information is there. One small advice to you, 
about the optional API, you should avoid the get method, okay? As, some, as much as you can, you should avoid it. Why? First, because it might return no such element exception, some case. The idea is not to replace the pointer exception with another exception, right? It should optimize your API to do something else. So, as much as possible, avoid this, especially because we have a thousand options. So, we have the or else if is present and consume, we have map or else get with supplier or supplier. You are able to, okay, if my information is not there, I'm able to throw an exception. So, okay, new runtime exception, and something like that. A long, long, long time ago, I saw the interview from Brian Getz in Dr. Deprecator, and they were discussing about what they enjoyed in Java 8 and what they did not enjoy it. And one thing that both did not like it, uh, did not like, was the, the get method in optional, okay? Especially because that, they did not replace one exception to another. So, go to the API, explore this, there's thousands and thousands of options here, so try to use, okay? And remember, the idea of optional is not only to service, but to model itself. For example, we have the person, and think that right now we have the drive license. So let's create drive license. Okay, let's put, let's make it a value object. So final string, license, Let's create a constructor here. Let's just put the get method. Let's define the equals rest rest code on this case. Let's use the license here. I usually prefer to... Yes, I know, I can optimize the template to do it. I will, I promise you. But right now I have the license and the person might have a drive license. So I have my license here. And what does that mean? If the value might be new or not new, you can use optional here as well. So optional of drive license, get drive license. And then you can return. So optional of new level drive license. So what does that mean to us? If I know that the value must not be new, for example, name. All the name, all person should have a name. So in non circumstance, this person will have a new name. So I don't need the optional. However, if the value might be not new or might be new, you have the optional way. And as recommendation, use validation to make sure your object is in the right state. So for example here, oops, no name, name is required. And let's do this exact same thing here, oops. city, city, and so on. So what you can do here is you are able to create one more with drive license, license, uh, oops, license, license. Yeah, it's not a good idea to have uh, a constructor to with too many fields. What we're gonna do is to replace with a builder. So let's use 
a builder here. Person builder. I will remove the prefix here. And I will do the refactoring. So let's check what we on drive license. Person, where are you? So right now I have I have elder with license. So and yes, if you want to, you're able to rename here to build because a person builder only will build a person. It doesn't make sense to a person builder build to create something else. And if you want, if you want to to have an alias here, you are able to create a person builder builder and then return new person builder and create an empty constructor. But this, this, this little guy here won't be available outside. So if I create, for example, a new package, uh, let's come here, uh, client, let's move here. If I want to create a person, I'm not able to do new person builder anymore. So what can I do is person, person. Oops, probably forgot something. Okay, yeah, I did. I have this person builder but I'm not able to do the person builder, okay? Because it's not available. Encapsulation is a key to a good code design. Again, what did I do? I have a person. When a person might have a license or not, I returned as an op optional instance. So. I know that a person must have a name, otherwise it's not a valid person and it makes sure the person has a valid state the whole time. The same thing happened with CD, but not with license. That is my advice for today. Thank you that you're watching and see you soon.